Well, Tesla deals with fallout from a cheap labor scandal. You may have missed the vacation-proof sunscreen viewfinder, the electronic art display for the home, and some crazy origami robot news. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where you're about to get a whole new respect for the humble sausage casing. MIT made an origami robot that can be swallowed in pill form, unfold itself within the digestive tract, and then do some pretty crazy things. The robot can remove foreign objects, uh, it can patch wounds, or it can deliver medicine at designated locations. The researchers used dried pig intestine to form the robot. They designed it to remove button batteries since people in the U.S. keep swallowing them and messing up their insides. I hope that doesn't say anything about our future. Doctors can use magnets to manipulate the robot from outside to unhook the batteries for now, but the goal is to get the tiny bot to work without magnets. Finicky, indecisive art lovers with an irrational hate for landscape-oriented wall hangings? There's a totally not niche Kickstarter with your indecipherable signature on it. Introducing A Canvas. A Canvas brings gallery-level art curation into your home with an innovative art frame and platform. Spun off from electronic giant LG, the A Canvas is a 23-inch cloud-connected HD display. When users bore of dogs playing poker, they can connect to online collections of famous art or use examples of their own masterpieces. But what makes A Canvas unique is its only mildly disturbing self-charging solution. When the frame's four to five hour battery life isn't enough for you, heathen, the device realizes its eminent death and lowers a magnetic charging puck to an outlet while you're not even looking. If you have fallen asleep without sunscreen one too many times, check out the Sunscreener. It's on Kickstarter and is used like your favorite low-tech toy. Instead of panoramas, you'll see exactly where someone missed putting sunscreen on. And if that isn't useful to you, you might want to think about leaving your dungeon now and again. I'm talking to myself here. I live in a basement. Unlike the 80s classic, They Live, these won't handily point out which people are really masquerading as aliens. What's your problem? But it might save you from skin cancer. So it's useful. And finally, if you've ever had your bike stolen, you'll be into this. It's a bike alarm that is relatively low tech. There are no batteries, just a trip wire and some old school pyrotechnics to unleash a 150 decibel blast of sound. The idea is that a thief is less likely to get the goods if everyone hears this act of warfare going off. 